what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this guide on how to fix the Air 522 connection timed out message. While it may seem like a complex issue, there are simple ways to resolve it. And in this video, we're going to go over the possible causes of the Air 522 message and how to fix it. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources, and it keeps you up to date with all the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. Also, as we're going through this video, I highly recommend checking out Name Hero's blog post on the topic. I've linked to it in the video description below, but this is a great resource to reference as you're watching this tutorial. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, let's quickly go over what the Air 522 message means. For starters, it's an HTTP status code that appears when the origin web server fails to respond. It typically occurs when a website uses a content delivery network service like Cloudflare. And when Cloudflare tries to connect to your website and doesn't receive a response within a specific time, meaning the server takes too long to respond, it generates the Air 522 message. Simply put, Air 522 could occur when Cloudflare cannot connect with the origin server. Now, if you're new to Cloudflare and CDNs, let's quickly go over what they are. So a CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network, is a network of servers located worldwide. The system makes copies of a website's content and stores them on each server. Then when someone visits your website, the server nearest to their location delivers its content. A CDN reduces website latency for users and can help websites deal with traffic surges. However, as we just went over, when Cloudflare receives a timed out error message from the origin server, it displays the error 522 message, which can be frustrating at times. So what causes this error exactly? Well, there are multiple things at play here, but some of the main causes are server downtime, if the server hosting the website is down, users cannot access the website, obviously. Next, there could be insufficient resources. And if your hosting plan resources are exhausted or inadequate, the server may struggle to handle requests and you may experience the error 522. It might be time to upgrade your hosting plan to handle the surge in traffic if that's what's causing it. Next, IP filtering could also cause the error. If the website's firewall blocks the user's IP address, the server will not respond. And finally, if you're experiencing DNS connection issues, that could mean that there may be a problem in the DNS connection between the server and the CDN leading to the error 522 message. Okay, so now that you know what this error is, why it happens and what causes it, let's go over some possible solutions that may help you fix the issue. So the first thing you may wanna try is to check if the server is working properly. If your server is down or if your website is experiencing a temporary outage, the server cannot respond to requests. So try accessing your website via a service such as isitdownrightnow.com. And I'll be sure to link to all these resources in the video description below, but if you visit this website and enter your site's domain in the field provided, and click the check button, a fresh site status test will be performed on the domain name in real time using their online website checker tool. In a few moments, the status will be revealed. And as you can see, this domain is up and reachable by this tool. So if you're seeing this green up notification, you can rule out the 522 message being caused by a server being down. So let's move on to the next troubleshooting tip, and that is to review your hosting plan. So as you know, there are a ton of choices when it comes to which web host to use when getting a site up and running on the internet. However, not all web hosts are created equal. If the hosting plan you're on is not adequate to fulfill your website's demand, it can result in low server resources. So if you find that you have been experiencing a lot of downtime with your web host, or there always seems to be an issue with your site's functionality, then I recommend looking into upgrading your hosting plan to Name Hero Cloud Web Hosting. It's my number one recommendation when it comes to web hosting, and as you can see, they offer multiple types of plans to fit any budget. But most importantly, their speed, security, and reliability are the main reasons I use and recommend them. 
They also offer free migration, so if you're curious about switching or you want to know more about Name Heroes Cloud web hosting packages, I highly recommend checking out my in-depth video review where I walk you through all of the features and benefits of Name Hero. I'll link to this review in the video description below, but you could also access this at the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. And upgrading your hosting plan is one way to ensure that you have a stable and reliable website server that can help you avoid connection issues and the error 522 message. Okay, moving on. Next, if you have IP filtering enabled on your web server, it may prevent the Cloudflare server from connecting to your website. And you can access Cloudflare's IPs here. And again, I'll link to this in the video description below, but it's recommended that you reach out to your web host provider to see if IP filtering is on and whether or not these IPs have been blocked. If so, your web host provider can whitelist these IPs, which will hopefully resolve the connection error. The next tip is to review your Cloudflare DNS settings. So if your DNS settings are misconfigured, Cloudflare won't be able to connect to your website and will generate the error 522 message. So you'll want to make sure that your Cloudflare DNS settings point to the correct IP address of your website server. And the way you can do that is within your site's Cloudflare's DNS records. So within your Cloudflare dashboard, just go to DNS and then select records within the sidebar menu. Then within the records, look for your domain and under the content column, you should see an IP address. I have it blurred out for this video, but this IP address should match your website's server IP address. And if you have Name Hero web hosting, the way to check the server IP address is within your product details of your customer portal. And it'll be listed right here next to where it says primary IP. Again, I have it blurred out, but this IP address should match the records in Cloudflare. Now, if they don't match, go ahead and copy this IP address and then back at Cloudflare, click the edit button for that record. And then in the IPv4 address field, paste the server IP address. Then once updated, don't forget to click the save button. Now, if you don't even have an A record for your domain, you can always add one by clicking the add record button. Then keep the type as A. And then in the name field, type the at symbol. Then in the IPv4 address field, paste the IP address of your website server, then keep everything else as is, and click the Save button. Now Cloudflare states that by default, any changes or additions you make to your Cloudflare zone file will push out in five minutes or less. However, your local DNS cache may take longer to update. Just keep that in mind. Okay, moving on to the next troubleshooting tip, and that is to use a caching or lazy load plugin. So, Excess requests or requests to unoptimized pages can consume server resources. You can reduce server load as well as speed up your website by installing a cache or lazy load plugin to optimize your website's performance. And this is if you are running a wordpress.org site, just keep that in mind. And if you are, I highly recommend, and I personally use, the WP Rocket as the ultimate caching plugin for my website. I'm very satisfied with it, but there is a cost associated with it. So if you're on a budget, then you could try a free plugin, but even if you only use it on one site, the WP Rocket plugin is $59 for the entire year. And in my opinion, that's a really good deal for the quality of plugin that you're getting. And again, just for some social proof, if we visit my personal site, blogwithbin.com, you can see that when I'm logged into WordPress and the upper admin toolbar, I have purchased the WP Rocket plugin and have it installed and activated, giving me the tools to help speed up my site and enhance the overall performance. And I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. WP Rocket also offers the free lazy load plugin that you could download from wordpress.org. And this particular plugin delays loading images, videos, and iframes until they are visible to the user. This plugin effectively speeds up your WordPress site and reduces the chances of the error 522 message. Finally, if all else fails, you can reach out to Cloudflare tech support. So from your Cloudflare dashboard in the upper right corner, click on where it says support, and then from that drop down, you'll have a few ways to get some help. But if you select contact Cloudflare, you'll be presented with some additional ways to resolve your issue. Now there is one caveat to this. 
The only way that you could chat with a support rep is if you have a business plan with Cloudflare, and that's a paid plan. However, if you're like me at the moment and only are using the free plan, then you can't use the chat feature for technical issues. However, you can complete the form on the left to receive relevant diagnostics and documentation to help resolve your issue. And you'll basically go step by step answering various questions to help pinpoint the right resources. But one thing that I really like is to use their AI support bot. So toward the bottom there, under the summary section, if you click the support AI link, you can engage with their AI support bot and get answers to your questions that way as well. It's pretty cool. All right, so that wraps up our guide on troubleshooting the Air 522 message. We've walked through the possible causes from server and network connectivity issues and provided you with some solutions to get your website back up and running. And remember, the key to solving an Air 522 is patience and having a systematic approach. This means checking your server's response, ensuring your hosting service is operational, and verifying your network connections are stable. And if you've tried all the steps outlined in this video and you're still facing issues, don't hesitate to reach out to your hosting provider or leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to help you out. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.